through RE you get to live the true Christian, mes true Christian message and then hopefully pass that down on to your family if you have any. Well, in RE one of the most important commandments is to treat thy neighbour as you wish to be treated and this then you express that through in school and through in your parish as well. Well generally at the end of classes we say our school prayer and there's also images and there's a crucifix in every room that reminds us of the focus on God. That reminds you that God is present through everything you do in school and that you have to try and live out what God wants you to do. Uh, it just teaches us lessons about how, uh, about other people and how they live their lives and how we need to be more accepting of them and not be in our own bubble. Well, it helps me develop a relationship with God because it teaches me how I should worship him and how I should do everything that's written in the Bible. And with others, it shows me how I should be caring and treat others with respect and manners. I mentioned I do Caritas, but I've always done the children's liturgy at chapel before Caritas. So that's obviously connected to RE. And I help out at the Osnam Club on a Monday night for disabled children, and which is connected to RE and it helps me understand like why I need to do stuff like that to be a good person. I go to chapel a lot more than what I used to, like near enough every week now. And because my mum has MS, I'm starting to be a carer for her. So I think Ari's helped me with that because I can just, I'm more accepting and patient in that. And it feels like it's making me be more mature in what I have to do in life and it's just making me a much more all-rounded, better person. Well, at the end of each lesson, uh, we do say prayers for people, so I think that in a personal level lets me connect with God. And at the same time in class we discuss um, just how uh, how we can get better, uh, be, become better people through God and how uh, saying prayers is an important part of be being a Catholic. Um, well, this year I've been involved in the Caritas programme and it's getting involved with your chapel and reading and uh, helping out the past keepers and things and we've held a... a a night for the people in the parish, for the community, and raised money for charity. Well, through Caritas, um, we've done a lot um, through our school community. By um, in our Caritas group specifically, we've went to um, Holy Family um, Primary School to help out with the um, Primary Seven students doing the Pope Francis Award, and we've had an impact on their faith um, in trying to help them to know what's important as they're coming up to Cardinal Newman High School and how they can serve in the community and we're actually helping them serve through the community and we've also raised money um, in charitable events through the St Andrews Hospice Night as part of the Caritas group um, and also giving money to charities through our fair trade group in school as well. We've made a difference um, through that. Um, so you can be faithful like to your own religion and to decide if that is the religion or faith for you. So we're a Catholic school so it's important just to keep on learning about different faiths and religions as well as your own. Um, there's different charity events which have been organised and we all attend them so as well as the teachers, the pupils are also involved in practising being charitable which is an important principle of faith. Well part of the Caritas initiative which encourages you to help others in your parish and school community and that's what I think I do. I'm always raising money for charities whether it be inside the school or outside the school. And I'm also, uh, also going to Mass every Sunday as you're meant to do. In religious education, I feel it's important to be a role model to my younger students. Peer pressure can also um, concentrate on younger pupils not feeling comfortable to express their faith. As in the S1 retreats we have previously took part in, we have demonstrated that it's easy and acceptable to ask questions about your faith. This also helps younger pupils feel comfortable and demonstrates that it's okay to ask questions about your faith. We do, do take part in many activities that helps the younger pupils, like for example the oratory is so close to the school canteen so some younger students feel that it's not okay because they might get a bit embarrassed to come in and so, so their friends can see them come in so we kind of help them feel comfortable enough to just walk in and express their faith in the oratory. I think it's really good because it, you can be a part of the school, there's loads of opportunities and stuff and you can, like the younger part of the school you can help them kind of on the journey. Like we went to um, New Mains with them on a, a spiritual retreat and that was really good because it's like opening up everybody to um, faith and it's just it's good to see that. It's made me feel sh a stronger presence because with Caritas and stuff as well 
you feel as if you've got more of a bond with God because you can go within your parish and help out and do stuff like pass keeping and help out food, um, food kitchens and stuff, soup kitchens, and um, that's good because you can feel more of a connection and take that time to kind of relax, especially with exams and stuff. I believe that RE can help you uh, as it gives you a better understanding of church teachings and also uh, helps you pray in a community and grow as a, la a larger community and also gives you the confidence to do this, which you can also take into further situations all throughout your life. Through RE, you, figure, you, you get taught a lot of parables and I think the most important parable I've heard is the parable of the Good Samaritan. No matter what's happening in your life, no matter how down you are, God will always send somebody to come and help you. Like, it doesn't matter who they are, they can be the lowest of the low, they can be the highest of the high. If your friends aren't there for you, then God is. I've uh, joined the Caritas group this year, and Caritas, it's, it's good because Caritas brings me closer to God. It makes me understand more about God's love, because you've got the gathering points talking about everything about God, and I think it's gathering point one, talks about how you can't love God if you hate your neighbour or your brother and that just influences you and it just shows you how much God's love is. One of the most important things we get out of RE is a good set of morals um, and a good understanding of Christian values which we can take out into the world and use every day in our lives. It's also very important that we get to practice our faith as part of a wider faith community within the school with the younger years and with the teachers as well and we can do that um, through all the Eucharistic services and Masses throughout the year in, in St Aidan's. The thing I think most that we get that's important for RE is the fact that we all get to have a greater understanding of our own religion and every other religion and other beliefs. I think RE helps us be more um, aware of others and like their opinions and how we're a lot more open to them and we don't judge or anything about them. Through RE we're given the opportunity to um, develop a relationship with God um, as a wider community with the rest of the school. Um, it also, um, developing a relationship with God also gives us the confidence to go out into the world and talk about our faith not only educatedly but passionately and it, um, it gives us the confidence to go out and not be ashamed to answer questions about our faith. And RE in school has helped me feel become a more confident person as I've contributed greatly um, to celebrating to celebrate the masses in the school and even the Eucharistic services such as readings, bidding prayers and it's just helped me become more confident in working in my parish and the chaplain of the school is also my parish priest.